Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at the use of fracking to extract natural gas in the UK. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Fracking is also known as hydraulic fracturing. Over the last few years, the UK government has been investigating whether this is an efficient and safe way to extract natural gas located thousands of metres underground in shale rock. The process of fracking is very controversial though. It involves drilling a deep hole and releasing the gas stored in rocks using a high pressure mix of water, sand and chemicals. The image on the screen shows this process in more detail. You can see fractures in the rock that allow the gas to flow into the well. You've got the sand, water and chemicals injected under high pressure into the well the gas being stored and transported to processing facilities, polluted wastewater being stored or disposed in underground wells, and then we've got the issue of spills or leaks that can contaminate drinking water. This is how oil and natural gas is extracted in the North Sea, but people are concerned about current plans to potentially use it on land in places like Lancashire and Yorkshire. When the government publicised their plans to explore the possibility of fracking to release natural gas, it was viewed as a really controversial plan. Many people are concerned that injecting this mixture at high pressure could trigger minor earthquakes. This is a huge worry for people living in the areas identified as potential sites for fracking and could have knock-on impacts such as higher insurance premiums due to the increased risk of damage to the ground beneath their homes. Additionally, the mixture could contaminate groundwater supplies and therefore affect supplies of drinking water. Furthermore, the process is very expensive. Fracking itself costs lots of money, but then you need to construct and maintain a network of pipes to transport the gas. In addition, the natural gas is a fossil fuel. Therefore, burning it produces greenhouse gas emissions, changing the global climate. On the other hand, people who support the extraction of natural gas argue that it gives off fewer harmful gases than other fossil fuels, for example sulphur dioxide and nitrous oxides, and it emits around half the amount of CO2 than oil and coal. However, it does still release some pollutants into the atmosphere, so it is much more environmentally damaging than renewable sources. In addition, it is widely available across the globe and easy to transport through pipelines and using tankers. But constructing pipelines underground will destroy habitats and transporting overground releases CO2 and it could result in accidents. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on fracking in the UK. Thank you for watching.